So, so do, you, do you think though that that is also partly one of the issues of social media that even someone that like you look up to or are seeing that they are being productive and oh god they've still got all their shit together they're absolutely fine and then speaking to them in the background they're like oh no actually I'm really struggling and it's like well on the surface it looks like you know again we don't need to call out any names then but I just mean like yeah. you know I think that that is partly one of the issues why social media is everybody's living their best life or or whatever and you're not actually seeing some of the parts of what we all go through i mean i've tried to be well, as truthful as i can recently and telling people i've had ups and downs yeah. had some bad stuff happen in the family and thoughts in the last few weeks yeah so there's ups and downs there's no point in trying to portray it as perfect but you could see someone and go, God, because then you're evaluating yourself going, oh God, I'm really not being that productive. I should be doing more. And then yeah. speak to them and they're feeling in the same boat. So there's got to be well, a balance. I think one thing that I learned um, over the course of this time and, and was cemented by the conversation that I had this morning, actually, before we talked to this, per to this person, is that this whole social media and self-comparison thing it's really your own mindset that's the issue. So like, if you think about this, right, if you have days where you're feeling really good and you look online and people are doing well that you fundamentally like and look up to and, and care about, they might be friends, they might not be friends, whatever, you find yourself being buzzing for them. But if you're in a bad mindset, it's not that you're not buzzing for them or that you're not happy, you're you still happy for them. But it makes you then think, oh, I need to do more. But one thing, one thing that really is key here is that that is us. We're, we're creating that in our own mind and yeah. it's just thoughts and we've got the power to change those thoughts. And, you know, if somebody is being really productive online, that is their way of coping with their own struggles. So they're not doing that to, for other people to see and for them to feel bad. They're doing that because they want to stay busy and stay productive. Plus, if we are having a good day and they've done 10 radio shows that we need to catch up on, then that's great because we'll have radio shows to listen to. So it's, it's us, it's really within us and it's for us to look at. And we've got the time to do that right now. Sorry, I don't mean to sound airy fairy, but like no. right now is a time for us to like fix the way that we feel about ourselves. And it's not because of other people, it's because of us and what we've got going on. Mm -hmm. And this whole social media comparison thing, when it moves over to people being false, then that's a problem but when it i feel like right now this whole false thing it, for me anyway and for people that i follow it's become much better so people are being realistic they're posting less they're saying when they're having a bad time and they're just you know doing things to keep themselves busy and that's great so me personally i think that that's got a lot better and all of these you know instagram influencers and stuff they're limited to being in their house just like everyone else um and so everyone's kind of made a bit more like equal right now in a way yes yes that's so, true. that that is true i mean it's it's all it's all good points what you're saying because ultimately the control always comes down to us and how we look at it it's what we were yeah. saying where it's, it is about the perspective but we are breeding such a culture of like yeah. in each other it's why yeah. we're having so many issues with mental health and people feeling yeah. inadequate because they're like oh Maybe I'm not doing enough. So if it makes you strive to do something better with your life, great. But yeah. nine times out of ten, it's just making people sit and feel bad about themselves. You know? Yeah, I, yeah, I, I absolutely. Yeah. I, I do also agree, though, that it's starting to become more transparent in terms of people kind of sharing their pitfalls yeah. and things that are happening. But it is still this sort of glossy sheen. But that's funny, though. Instagrammers that are kind of sat in the house, what are you going to Instagram now? You know what I mean? It's like... It is putting everybody in the same sort of boat and making us realise really like who are the yeah. important people in society and who we should be yeah. looking up to. 